This video is a review and setup of a CT416 TIG welder combination plasma cutter. This is a novice's machine and I'm a complete novice. I bought this machine to do hobby TIG welding as well as some plasma cutting. This is a Chinese machine. The online manual that comes with it is completely useless and uh, I was struggling to work out how to get things started. So this is the process I went through. I've never TIG welded before, but I've watched all the YouTube videos. Anyway, this is the back of the machine and it comes with an air regulator for the plasma cutting. But I found that the uh, connections were completely useless. I've actually replaced them with all airline type connections. They originally came with just these useless looking things. Uh, where you're supposed to poke a bit of uh, um, hose into it for the airline. And the same thing for the, uh, the regulator, just had these little connections on it. So I took the, uh, the bits to a, a welding supplies and they supplied me with all the right bits another sixty dollars later. I also put an air hose connector onto my argon bottle so I could easy, easily uh, connect the argon bottle to either my existing MIG welder or the new TIG welder. It wasn't difficult to work out how to connect the earth lead. You basically just plug it in and turn it to the right until it stops. Of course, uh, you've got to have the earth connected to whatever you're working on, or if you've got a workbench with a steel top like I've got, then uh, you need to connect it to the workbench somehow. Next, I need to connect up the um, TIG cable. So again, not very difficult to work out. Um, a DIN type plug and then the, the plug that's the combination of um, uh, the power and the um, argon that comes through the, uh, the cable. As this is a novice's machine, it comes with very, very basic controls. You either put it on TIG, uh, stick or cut, power, and then the on-off switch. I'm not interested in the stick capability, so I won't be showing that. For the Australian market, this machine comes with a proper Australian plug already attached and it's a 15 amp rated plug. I have a 15 amp uh, wall socket plug. I don't know whether um, you could run this on 10 amp or not. It does not come with the tungsten rods. As this is just a DC machine, you can't weld aluminium with it. So I just bought the standard rod for welding steel. Um, you can also use it for brazing. It's pretty self-evident how the uh, the rod goes into the head and you screw the um, the end cap down so that it's the, the right um, stick out. There are any number of excellent videos on YouTube to show you how to TIG weld so I'm definitely not going to do that. But in my next video you'll see a little project and I need to braze some um, uh, cast steel um, to some steel, so I'm doing that here. Bear in mind that this is my very first attempt at TIG welding. Um, I'm very happy with the result. Um, for an amateur, it's absolutely fine. Okay, now it's time to try out the plasma cutter. So this is how it's connected. Uh, you put your air hose into the in inlet side. And then I've just got a, made up a bit of a hose to go um, from the outlet um, down and into my gas inlet area. I've just got a crappy little um, air compressor that is uh, doing the job absolutely fine. The plasma cutter does not have a pilot arc setting. In other words, it doesn't start cutting until you um, make an earth onto the material that you're trying to cut. So, for example, when you press the little button, um, air comes out, but that's it, just air. I recommend buying a set of consumables for this. 
um, because I blew out two of them just while I was experimenting. I've ordered a set of them from eBay. They come direct from China, but they're really cheap. To start cutting, you need to be about two millimeters from the material. Press your button, and then uh, an arc will start, and then the flame. But if you just want to do a straight cut, then get yourself a bit of six mil steel, which is just the right thickness to hold the head off the work surface. And uh, you can also use that as your straight edge um, to run it down. So I just press the button, the arc starts because it's close enough, and this is just real time cutting through three mil steel. And you can see that uh, it, it cuts through it quite easily. And in fact, it's not a bad job at all, really. A little bit of dross on the underside, and that's it. Don't be put off by all the expert advice out there. If you're just a hobbyist, this machine will do you just fine. Well, that's it. I'm ready to start. You can have a look at my next video for my first attempt at TIG welding with this machine.